Hi everyone, this is Abhishek. So today we'll be covering a project called Strategic Decision Making During Crisis Time. So in this project, we will provide a complete set of guidelines along with a self-assessment tool, strategic response plan, and an impact metrics to all the senior leaders and the, and the organization owners in order to take an effective decision making during a crisis. So let's move ahead, move ahead with the project. So coming on to business needs, so we uh, asked uh, considering the current COVID situation, every organization struggled to maintain their business standard, uh, business standard in the market, maintain their sustainability, where they're struggling to maintain their sustainability in the market, viability and scalability in the market. So as part of this project, we are recommending them few guidelines, few uh, assessment tools and plans and structures and framework which will help them to take an effective uh, help them to take an effective and efficient decision making during any any crisis time so coming on to objective and description the project objective is you know, is to produce a guideline along with a self assessment tool uh, and a response plan metrics and along with the impact metrics which will help the organization leaders and owners in order to take a effective decision in order to make an effective decision during a crisis time so as far as descriptions are concerned so as in the project description we are mainly focusing on the organizational i mean any organization when they uh, when uh, when they face a crisis what are the possible uh, possible threats uh, that looks for an organization is well, first of all is organization the entire organization stakeholder and organization goal performance viability all will be in stake during a crisis time so in during this time every organization are uh, are need to come out of the situation by making a effective and efficient decision making so as part of this project we will i'll explain i'll explain you guys how to make an effective and efficient decision during a crisis time so talking about the key benefit but before explaining the key benefit i would like to share a quotation uh, quotation by uh, Todd Stalker. So according to him, leadership is um, leadership is making wise decision even when it's hard. So considering the COVID situation, it's a hard time for every organization to survive or to maintain their growth, sustainability, viability and scalability in the market and even to maintain their current business standard. So we uh, in this current, uh, crisis situation, we are our project is going to help all the organization owners and leaders in order to maintain their growth, maintain their sustainability, maintain their viability and scalability in the market, plus maintain their current business standard and also maintain their business as usual. So they need not to worry how the business runs if they make an effective and efficient decision during a crisis time. So moving on to the scope, so we have seven scope as part of this project. First one, we are target i mean we are recommending all the organization owners and leaders to create a multi layer or a multi tier crisis team second one is to establish a pro training process or training plan for those multi layer crisis or multi tier crisis team and third one is to engage them in every decision making every decision making and to leverage them and to groom them in every decision making meetings the fourth one will be creating a decision making guideline and creating a decision making guideline which covers and which also uh, which also includes all the multi layer or multi tier crisis team and meant, uh, and to build a role and responsibility of each each level of crisis team fifth one where we will cover uh, will cover how to help the organization how, how to create a self assessment audit tool and how to use a effectively self assessment audit tool to get an effect get an effective way of decision making Sixth one, we will build an effective response strategy and impact analysis, which will help the organization to further drill down and to make a further more efficient and effective decision making during a crisis time. Seventh one is nothing but we will create, uh, we, as part of this project, we will create a documentation or a database where all the project owner, where all the organization owner and the organization leaders can store their decisions that they have made it in the past so that they can refer back uh, refer back to it any at any point of given time so moving on to the milestone of this project so there are five milestones five major milestones of this project so those are planning and feasibility assessment guidelines establish and train knowledge and awareness recording decision so planning and assessment will cover uh, will cover of auditing uh, auditing of the current uh, current processes and best practices 
guidelines. We will create a complete set of guidelines uh, for all the organization owners and leaders how to make an effective, uh, effective and efficient decision during a crisis time. Establish and training. So here we will create a uh, we, we will uh, we will create a multi-layer or multi-tier crisis team along with the uh, along with the alignment or as who all fall under uh, who all fall under what tier and we'll create a training uh, training process or a training plan for those multi-layer crisis team and fourth one we will uh, will will create a uh, will create a few knowledge uh, i mean knowledge repository and we'll create a uh, few awareness session we are planning to have some awareness session with the organization owners and leaders in order to make an effective decision during a crisis time and then the fifth one is nothing but recording of the decision made, made during a crisis time so we are planning to create as part of this project we are planning to create a uh, database or create a documentation where all the record where all the decisions has been recorded so that they can refer back uh, organization owner and leaders can refer back to it at any point of given time so moving to the deliverables of the project so there are majorly three three major deliverables has been categorized or has been planned or has been created for this project one is explaining all six characteristics characteristics of a decision making second deliverable is second deli uh, second deliverable is create uh, creating and self assessment tool in order to make an uh, uh, make an effective decision during a crisis time third one is creating a response plan response strategy and impact metrics which will help further organization to take uh, take an effective and effective calculative and efficient decision during a crisis time So this is how the uh, response uh, i mean this is how the uh, uh, impact analysis metrics looks like so where we will have a set of uh, set of crisis situations listed down we have all the impact criteria listed down we have will also get impact score and crisis level based on the uh, based on the per, uh, based on the input that we entered and those input will be based on the percentage and then coming up to the conclusion uh, every project will be measured by uh, measured by some success criteria so our project also have a success criteria and the success criteria completely depends on depends on person or individual rather than tool base so uh, the success criteria of the project completely depends on how the organization owners leaders are efficiently and effectively using the suggestions recommendations provided uh, provided in this project so that actually make this project successful and uh, in case if you guys wanted to explore more about the project more detail about the project wanted to learn and wanted to uh, you know, wanted to research more on this project i have also added few of uh, few of our project key documents here which you can refer them and get to learn many things about the project so lastly moving on to the project team so every team you know, so a success i mean every successful delivery of a project always lies with the team so i would like to thank all my, all the mentors and the project leaders here uh, i would like to thank all the mentors and the project leaders here for successfully making creating this project and delivering this project thank you